Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the circle and its parts. So itong topic na to is for grade 7 and even grade 10 students na nag-aaral ng circle at yung parts na meron dito. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let us define first, what is a circle? Circle is a set of points on a given plane which is equidistant from a fixed point that is called the center. So let me elaborate first, what is the meaning of this definition? So let's say for example, I have this circle and this point here, the point M is the center of the circle. And sabi dito, circle is a set of points. So yung asan po yung set of points? Guys, yung set of points natin, these are points na nabubuo ng mismong circle natin. Imagine, itong part na to, there are different, there are so many points na meron tayo sa bawat side ng circle na meron tayo. Siya yung tinatawag natin set of points. Imagine, di ba, kapag nag-create ka ng mga dots or points na magkakatabi, it will create a circle. Ito yung tinatawag natin set of points, yung mismong circle natin. And, sabi dito, which is equidistant from a fixed point called the center. The distance of the points around the circle is equidistant. Ibig sabihin, is for example, I have this point. From this point up to this point, and from this point up to this point, and from this point up to this point, lahat sila ay equal. Okay? And sabi dito, the fixed point M is called the center. Yun, napalit na nga sa inyo kanina. Yung M natin is the center of the given circle. And sabi dito, and R is the radius. So I have here a segment wherein it is a point. The segment is from the center of the circle, which is M, and to the point here on the circle, which is the K, and then we call that in radius, or U R. Radius, so, ayun yun na yung length ng, ano, ng center up, up to uh, any point of the circle. That is the segment formed when we join, uh, when we join a, a point from the circle going to the center. Next naman natin, we have here the radius, ha? we are done with the radius. A chord of a circle is a line segment. Ito yung different parts na meron tayo. Kanina meron natin yung center, we have the radius, and now, let's go with the word chord. Pag sinabi natin chord, a chord is a of a circle is a line segment, again, it's a line segment that has its end points on a circle. So, sir, paano po yan? So, sabi dito, it's a line segment that has the, its end points on the circle. So, let me draw an example of a chord. So let's have here this one. So let me use the letters L and N. Now, as you can see, this segment LN, the end points of this is on the circle. At the point L, at the point N. That's why one of the chords here is LN. Segment. Ah, oh, by the way guys, I forgot to name the radius. The radius here is this. From the center up to the, any point of the circle, this is your radius KM or segment KM. Any radius natin. So let me draw another chord. Ito, let me draw this. Okay, let me use letter P. This one is also a chord. As you can see, um, point, the end points are P and N and nasa circle siya mismo. So another part, another chord na meron tayo sa circle M is chord PN or segment PN. And guys, another thing pala guys, uh, we can name this circle given the center. So, ang pangalan nito ay circle M 
or in symbol, pwede siya maging ganito lang. Understood din yung circle siya. Yan yung way kung paano lagyan ang pangalan yung circle na meron tayo ngayon. So, we're done with um, the center, radius, chord. Now, let's move on with the word diameter. A diameter of a circle is a chord. Again, sabi dito, a diameter of a circle is a chord that passes through the center and the length is twice as long as the radius. Now, in this example, guys, um, we have here two chords. We have line segment LN and PN. But based on the definition, only PN is considered as the diameter because it is a chord that passes through the center, which is point M. LN is not an example of diameter kasi hindi naman siya dumadaan sa ating center. Only PN. And another thing na sinasabi dito is that the length is twice as long as the radius. Mas mahaba daw ng dalawang beses yung mismong, uh, yung mismong length ng diameter compared sa ating radius which is PN. So bakit po? Kasi guys, as you can see, uh, meron tayo itong dalawang radius na. Another, another, another na meron radius tayo is ano, PM and MN. So, ito na mismo yung mga radius natin. Or, ang plural form ng radius guys ay radii. Okay? Huwag niyo makalimutan yun eh. So, meron tayo dito mga radii. We have KM, PM, saka NM. That's why, yung length ng ating diameter is twice as long as the radius. Tandaan niyo yun eh. So, we can say na um, yung R natin ay yung diameter natin, your D is equal to 2R. So, you need to multiply uh, the length of the radius to find the diameter. So, let's continue. We are done with uh, the center, radius, core, diameter. And now, let's move on with the next one. A line segment, a line segment or array that intersects a circle at exactly one point is called tangent line. So, meron tayo another line. Tangent line and the intersection is called point of tangency. Let me draw another line, pero dito natin siya nalagay. Okay? Now guys, nasa dito yung tinutukoy natin um, tangent line. Our tangent line here is this line. Okay? Meron siyang, isa siyang line na dumahan sa circle at exactly one point. Again, one point lang ha. Kaya ang ating tangent line dito ay line KR. At yung tinawag natin point of tangency it is the point where the tangent line meets or intersects the circle in which at the ating point of tangency which is point K. Again, pag sinabi natin um, tangent line, it is a line that passes through the circle at exactly one point at yung ating point of tangency is their point of intersection. Now let's move on. A line segment or array that intersects a circle at exactly two points is called a second or second line. Dito, if I'm going to extend this line or this uh, the chord LN, as you can see, etong LN natin or yung ating line Ln is considered as the second or the second line because uh, it passes through the circle ex uh, exactly two points. Ang kanyang points ay yung L at N. So again, we have the center, radius, chord, 
diameter, tangent line, point of tangency, second line, and even yung pag-name ng ating circle. I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin on how to know the definition of circle and its parts. Ngayon, punta tayo sa ating activity. I have here, name the following parts of the given circle. So, let's start with number one. Given the circle, ha, una, when you're asked for the circle, you're asked for the name of it. So, since yung ating center is x, okay, lagyan ito sa point x, or x, ibig sabihin, the name of the circle is circle x. Next, let's go with the radii. Ibig sabihin, plural form yan guys, sa plural form ng radius. Pag sinabi natin radii, uh, mas marami yan. So, ang first natin na ito, we have the AX, ito siya, and then we have also the BX. As you can see, yung endpoints niya is the center and one of the sides of the circle, followed by CX. So, meron tayong tatlong radii. Next, let's go with the diameter. It is a chord, remember, a chord that passes through the center, and that is BC. Next, let's have the chord. Ang chord naman natin, eto meron tayo. Siyempre kasama yung BC. Tapos, eto pa. Yung ating DE. Now, let's have number 6, tangent line. As for the tangent line, ito siya. Exactly one point yung intersection nila ng circle. We have line BF. And for number 7, second line, we have line D. Ayun na guys, uh, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap as long as alam niyo yung definition at yung itsura ng mismo circle. And I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin on how to define and determine the different parts of a circle. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!